Hi here, Chris from Moto Legends, the chap in the cap, here today to talk to you about a brand new jacket from Bellstaff. It's called the Crosby. You may think, well, the Crosby's been around for a while. Yes, it has been, but a new version has just arrived into the building. We're recording this late in 2019, mid-December 2019, and there is a new version that I'm going to tell you all about. So we're going to go over the other side of the shop and I'm going to talk you through it. So we're recording this in December 2019. This is the new for 2020 season Bellstaff Crosby. It is a mid-length jacket. Now, there are three main styles in the Bellstaff range. In fact, you could say there are only three styles of motorcycle jacket in general. There's a longer jacket, there's a mid-length jacket, and there's a short jacket. This is a mid-length jacket. By contrast, if we look at Bellstaff, you've got a longer jacket here, the classic four pocket and belted jacket. Works really well, it's quite a commitment, it's quite a heavy jacket to wear, but it doesn't work on everybody. If you're of a certain height, if you're of a certain stature, if you're a little bit challenged, in other words, if you're like me, then a jacket like this can just be too long. It comes too far down your thighs, it makes you look as though someone's chopped your legs off. It's not a nice look, it doesn't work for everybody. The other jacket, the third jacket in the range is the Mojave. This is a shorter, slightly sportier style, a bit more aggressive, a bit more Steve McQueen. But the problem is, whilst it looks great on the street when you're wandering around off the bike, if you sit on the bike, and if you're on a cafe racer and lean forward, you can find that there's a gap between the top of the jeans and the bike. We have asked Bell staff to add a longer back to this jacket. They haven't done that yet, but I think that would improve the scenario. But whereas the trial master for some people is simply too long, for others as a practical bike jacket, the Mojave can be too short. This is the jacket that sits in the middle. It's the perfect length for a motorcycling. So let's talk through some of the features. Um, here on the collar, you've got a belted adjuster. You've got belt adjusters here on the sides. You've got a cuff adjuster here, aerators under the arm. These are brass buttons. The bottom two are rubber to make sure that they don't damage your tank. In terms of the lining here, you've got a corduroy lining, which is pretty classic on all bell staffs and barbers. You've got a checked lining inside. There's no thermal liner in this jacket, but that's not a problem. Most people buying a jacket like this will wear something underneath, maybe something like one of our war norm high neck jumpers, but bell staff do a full sleeved and a gilet liner, the Coventry and something else whose name I can't remember, the Lamfell, that's it. They do a couple of liners that will, will clip into this. So you've got that for warmth. Obviously you've got the four pockets on the front with flaps, so they are pretty waterproof. Now on the subject of waterproofing, we often at Moto Legends talk about laminates versus drop liners. Laminate is where you've got the membrane heat sealed onto the outer fabric and water cannot get in. Drop liner, which is what, 90, which is, what is featured in 95% of motorcycle jackets, you have an outer fabric, a waterproof membrane hangs down. In extreme rain, four or five hours, water can get in, it can swill around, it makes the jacket heavy, it can make you feel cold because you're riding along with this enormous amount of water. So laminate jackets are more waterproof, they stay drier for longer, and then they dry out much faster. But with wax cotton, because the wax is a first barrier against the water, wax cotton jackets tend not to wet out. So even though this has a full Myperex membrane, Myperex is just a brand of a membrane like Gore-Tex. So even though this is a drop liner garment, the fact that it's waxed means that a a jacket like this almost never wets out. So it's far more waterproof than you might expect it to be. It's still not in truth the kind of jacket that I would want to commute in every day. We have customers who do. One of the weaknesses I think if you were to do that would be this big old fashioned zip. Water's gonna get through, through that. You do have a storm flap. You've got a, um, a channel here that if water gets in, it can run down. So it's pretty darn waterproof, wouldn't be Still the most technical option, but for a jacket that has classic credentials, it's, a, it's pretty practical. You can wear it in most conditions. In terms of protection, now, earlier this year, beginning of 2019, Bell staff 
introduced for the first time its CE-approved range. They brought out a new Trial Master called the Trial Master Pro. They brought out a new Mojave called the Mojave Pro. Technically, I think this should be called the Crosby Pro, but it's not. Now, to achieve the level that they needed to under CE, Bellstaff went down to two routes. They did some work with British Millerain to develop new fabrics. In some of their jackets, you get a standard wax cotton, nine or 10 ounce wax cotton. They then line that wax cotton with Cordura 500 and canvas panels in the high impact zones, in the danger zones, the A zones that make the jacket a wee bit stronger. So that's one way they got their garments through the test. The other route was to develop a brand new material where they took the cotton itself and wove it, one in the weave, one in the weft, with a much stronger fiber to create a stronger single layer fabric. That's what this is. It's a material that they call tech wax. Some of the garments that they released earlier in the year, I thought they were just a little bit waxy, a little bit greasy. And that's because the wax hadn't been absorbed by the synthetic material well enough. When you put your hand on them, you wonder whether you were gonna be left with greasy fingers, whether that, that, that would make a mark. I don't think that actually happened, but it was a slightly heavy feel. This is a new tech wax that they call tech wax shiny. It just is not as greasy, it's not as heavy. Um, it just looks like a standard wax cotton. Um, it's not shiny in my view, it's not shiny at all. Um, other than that in terms of protection, so, so we have a, a garment here that is, is pretty abrasion resistant. Obviously you need impact protectors as well. And as Bell Staff has done for many years now, they work with D3O, so you get D3O protectors in the shoulders and in the elbows. There's a pocket for a back protector that doesn't come as standard. Um, but that's it, that's the Crosby. We think it's, if you want a wax cotton look, unless you're in love with the long belted look, unless you're in love with the Mojave shorter look, this is the most practical jacket in the range. It comes um, in black only at present. I think in future seasons, they normally bring out different colors, but for this year only, uh, for this year, it's only available in black. So that was Bellstaff's new Crosby. In some ways, our favorite Bellstaff jacket, certainly the most practical jacket in the range. We have huge stocks of it here. We are almost certainly the largest stockist of Bellstaff in the world. So even though you've seen in the shop, it's a small shop. We have a warehouse here, three floors, millions of pounds worth of gear. If you want to come and try the Bellstaff on, the Bellstaff Crosby on it, if you want to make sure you get the size absolutely right, you stand a better chance of doing that if you come here as opposed to going almost anywhere else, as I say, in the world. Um, if you'd like to know more about the Crosby, then visit the website www.motolegends.com. If you would like to sign up to our email bulletins, then you can do so on the website. On the, at the top of the website, there's a email sign up button, very easy and quick to do. And then when new products come into the market, we normally send out a bulletin within a matter of days. That's a way of keeping in touch with anything new in the world of motorcycle apparel. If you prefer to get your information about motorcycle products videographically, then we would be absolutely thrilled if you wanted to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by going to the button down there. If, however, having listened to this review or watched this review about the Crosby, you simply feel that you cannot pass another day without obtaining one, then you can order by clicking top right of the screen. That will take you to the product page and you can um, buy it there and then. So that's the Bill Staff Crosby. This is Chris from Moto Legends, the chap in the cap. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.